I'm Paul Dijek, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Conditioning. Today I'm going to talk to you about taking your kicks or kicks of your students and speeding up the learning curve. One of the basic things that many beginner kickers have as their main problem is lack of chamber. The kick either comes out without a chamber, okay? I'm talking about the front kick right now. Or the kick comes up with a chamber and then comes down without a chain. Okay? Now, the idea is, tell your student, look, it's, you know, four-step kick, up, out, back, down, right? However, not everybody physically is able to do a chamber. Okay? They know they have to do it, but they can't do it. The muscles that do it are not developed. Okay? And we can talk about flexibility, we can talk about balance, we can talk about positioning, but we can't talk about strength right now. Okay? So, chamber, correct chamber, you have the knee flexed as much as possible. That means more than 90 degrees. Okay, this is not a correct chamber. Okay, that's not a correct chamber for a front kick, that's not a correct chamber for a side kick, not a correct chamber for a running house. Okay, you need maximum flexion so you can get maximum extension. Okay, so you want it here. Okay. You want it there. Now, someone actually may not have either the range of motion or strength or position of the body to do that. Okay? Since we're talking about strength, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the fact that to develop strength there, we want the leg parallel to the floor or we want it lower. Okay? So the upper leg needs to be parallel to the floor. Okay? Or lower. Okay? So obviously you cannot go any lower than this. Now I'm kicking my other leg. Okay? So, you want the chamber here or here? Why? The weight of the lower leg will be used as a weight mechanism, as resistance mechanism to develop the flexes. Okay? If your chamber is up here, okay, more than 90 degree bend, vertical leg. Vertical leg, just like vertical arm here, doesn't do much. Okay, you need to be in position where it goes from here to here against gravity. Okay, so the kick needs to start low. Don't encourage a beginner student or someone that haven't trained for a while to start kicking. Okay, higher than that position. So how high would the kick be? Well, if this is as high as the leg would go, what does that mean? The kick wouldn't go any higher than this. Okay. This is a position you can pull back. If you do it from here, then the kick is going to be down there. Okay? So the arc of the kick coming back to chamber from here, not from here, from the vertical back to here, you're actually using the weight of the leg to strengthen those muscles. It may not be a lot, but remember, for this particular kick, you're not using those muscles to actually deliver the kick. Okay? You're using them to bring the leg back. Okay? Stretch the muscles, create the potential energy in there, and then release. That's what you're using them for. Okay? So, some of the things we can do, we can move from that parallel position and back. Okay? Keeping the leg, the knee, flexed as much as possible. So, we're going to go from here to here and here. Okay? Seems like a hip flexor exercise, right? You flex in the hip, but at the same time, you're keeping that knee as tight in as possible. Obviously, another thing you can do is you can stand there and just keep it tight in, okay, in that position. Or you can stand here, keep it tight in, in that position, okay. We can also come up, once they get used to that, into a very tight chamber, okay. Okay, notice a high chamber not the same thing. You're not actually developing that as much. Okay? So what does that mean? As you're doing that, you would practice, you want your practice, of course, to keep up what your strength training is doing, so you would do the low front kick. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? They get a little bit stronger, this is as high as you would go. Okay? You would not kick high. You would just stay with that. 
if you want to play around it a little bit just to make it more fun you can bring it up here you bring it back all the way and forward back and forward notice you do that as you do that do not just sort of throw a back kick there okay that's not what it is once the leg is back there you tighten up the flexors of the knee as much as possible okay now I had a question whether the leg should come back this way and also this way. You can do that if the student has that range of motion, not everyone will be able to come back this way. Most people will be able to come back this way. Okay? Notice there's different front kick. I usually do not have my supporting leg in the direction of the kick. It's usually turned out partially or turned out to 90 degrees. Okay? If your style does that, you can do that as well and then you don't have a problem you can go straight back okay so develop the chamber once the chamber is developed you cut in the learning curve and the kick is going to get developed a lot faster I'm talking about speed and balance and uh, endurance of the kick and even the height of the kick and of course the power of the kick now having said all of that um, a lot of you wanted to win the kicking combo. You asked me to do the contest for the kicking combo, which is a four DVD in a book. And there's a video that's going to be uploaded together with this one. You can look at it, and it gives the instructions on how you can win a kicking combo where I talk about the front kick, right house kick, side kick, hook kick. There's also a book on body weight training that comes with it. And all of that together will teach you a lot of different things about kicking, how to progress, and how to work on different uh, modalities of the kick. Okay? Thank you for watching. Lunch, stand up, hook kick.